Hello and welcome back to this Global Health YouTube channel. Now this video is going to form part of the epidemiology playlist. We've got other playlists of course and I want you to go to the YouTube channel, have a look at what we've got, subscribe if you haven't and you'll get an email alert whenever there's a new video posted. So if we've got a diagnostic tool, some kind of test, we want to know what the usefulness of that test will be. So let's take a quick look at a hypothetical example. In terms of the entire population, some people have the disease, others don't. And in terms of the outcome of the test, some people will test positive and some people won't. So when we talk about sensitivity, we mean of all the people that are positive, the, the people that are circled in green, what proportion of those actually test positive? Those are the people that are circled in red. So it's a fraction, 66 over 70 gives you 0.94, times it by 100 and you've got 94%. The test will identify 94% of the people that actually have the disease. The next thing we're gonna talk about is specificity. We're interested in the population of people who are actually negative. Those are the ones that are encircled in green. And we wanna know what proportion of those people test negative, those that are encircled in red. So in this case, those encircled in red are the true negatives. So here we're saying 827 of the 830 will correctly test negative. So 827 over 830 is 0.99, which is 99%. So of people who don't have the disease, 99% of them will be correctly identified by this test. So I'm not going to go through all the calculations again for positive and negative predictive value. Basically the exact same principle applies. The positive predictive value is the proportion of people who test positive who actually are positive. So the positive predictive value tells me if I go for a test and I test positive, what are the chances that I actually have the disease? Now there's an important difference between sensitivity and specificity and positive and negative predictive values. And I need to explain this to you. When we look at the sensitivity test, for example, everybody in the green circle actually has the disease. And so the difference between the numerator and the, and the denominator, the, the numerator being the 66 people and the denominator being the 66 plus four, so the 70 people, the difference between those two groups is a function of the characteristics of the test itself. And it's not affected at all by the prevalence of the disease because everybody in that group has the disease. In other words, it doesn't matter if it's a common disease or not, because at that point in time, everybody that we're looking at actually has the disease. Now, this is not the case for positive and negative predictive values, because when we're looking at a positive or negative predictive value, the difference between the denominator and the numerator is affected by the prevalence of the disease in the community. And so it's not simply a function of the characteristic of the test itself. Now, this is still a useful test, but you need to remember that when you're comparing one test with another, in terms of the positive and negative predictive value, you need to be looking at the same population group, or at least population groups with the same incidence of disease. Okay, that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to make comments below. I'll be putting more content up soon, so watch this space. Until then, don't ever change, don't do drugs, always do your best, speak to you soon, and stay awesome.